Ah, I knew you'd come forward, hero. Now, listen. Seems the raid on the Adventurer's Guild was just one attack among many today. There's atrocities happening all over Scarabray. And Dalgleish, Ringneck and the Green Lady, who you met during the fighting, have gone to look into some of them. I promised I'd send help if I could find any. Would you look for them and give them a hand? Hello reformers and welcome back to the Bard's Tale 4. If you need some kit, peek in those crates. Won't do to go around defenseless in days like these. Right, so yes, I've actually already done that, amusingly enough, before I started recording. I opened up those crates, they gave me some boots, and I believe a rather nice helm, and I've also equipped my secondary, well, offhand thing. It's Musical Bones, gives me plus two to Constitution, very nice indeed. I guess I'm just going to level up. We do have one skill point here, so what are we going to take? Well, it's either Music... Defense? No, defense is just going to give us additional constitution and everything. What about attack? Well, we do have basic combat, of course, as you can see right there. We just have chop, and we could go for something else. So we could get plus one strength, so that would make us do a little bit of extra damage. Or we could just get bludgeon, novice, which deals six mental damage to the first enemy in range. Otherwise, we could go for critical hits have a 30% chance to cause the target to bleed. That's actually a pretty high chance. But I think for the moment we might just go for something a little bit different here. Mm. I was hoping that I might be able to get something that would maybe heal me. Yeah, I mean, there is there is a couple of things here that I'd like to get, but unfortunately, well, maybe I can do that? I, I guess I guess I could just do that. Crafting recipes. Draft of power, elixir of focus, tonic of armor, target ally against four armor for two turns. Okay, why not? Why not? That seems like a good plan to me. What's this? No ID required for half-elves. Well, that's, uh, that's good to know. That is very good to know. All right, so let's, uh, let's go outside then, I guess. Shall we? All right, so we've left the tavern and Rabbi in the safe location of the Adventurer's Guild where there's a whole bunch of merchants and everything. This is where the Adventurer's Guild is, by the way. I went up here, around the corners, and then eventually found myself here. Now, there are a whole bunch of enemies in that darkened area as well, so let's see if we're going to be encountering any of them. Oh, that seems like a wonderful fellow, doesn't it? Okay, uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually capable of fighting that thing just yet. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. Shall we find out? Shall we really? No, no, okay, yeah, let's not, let's not do that, actually. 54, yeah. It has a power of 54. Let's not, yes, that's a little bit too much. Investigate the disturbance? Seems to be a little bit of a side quest here. Ah. Gather a party to defeat the cultists. Yes, I will definitely do that. Let's go and gather a party to defeat them. What is that? Whoa, that is... That is 87. Whoa, okay. That's, that's a bit much. We had a bit of trouble with someone that had six power, so yeah, you can imagine how difficult that's going to be. I don't have the Corbel Mike key right now to get through here. Oh, it seems like we can attack these guys. Oh, okay, I was actually unaware that these were enemies. Alright, let's do it. Oh yes, now bear in mind, I actually did find a merchant in the tavern where Rabbi was, and I purchased a mace and this mace actually does have much more damage than the other one it actually gives me plus four strength instead of plus one strength it also gave me a couple more pieces of constitution and, and other other stats but for the moment i think we are perfectly fine in doing what we need to do here so i'm just going to go chug chug and uh actually we could do either one of these but uh i guess we'll just do the free action 
And we'll just do that. And we'll use this as well. Stand aside. And there we go. Easy victory. Easy victory. Oh yes, by the way, I found out how you can heal yourself without using items, actually. You can just interact with one of those save game bind stones. Easy enough. Very easy. And I think I'm going to need to spec into lockpicking. I actually don't know whether I can do that as my current class, so we might need someone else to help us out with that. Ah, hello. That did not do anything. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not really helping right now. That is though. There we go. Mecco and Batface snatched like eggs. Oh, who's that? Ah, you must be the one Rabbit promised to send. Am I glad to see you? Some kin of mine have been kidnapped, and I could use some help finding them. Well, what is this place? Wellbottom's the biggest trow camp in all of Keith. Used to be the one place a trow could feel they was safe. Now, uh, now nowhere is safe. Do you know who these kidnappers are? Been talk at the guild of some trow sail swords sneaking around Scarab Bray, killing people and cutting them up. I hope it ain't them who's took my friends, but I've got a bad feeling in my belly. Well, let's be on our way then. Thanks for giving me a hand. Ah, he's joined us. Very nice. Sinister Street. Let's head that way. That's High Priestess Yuena, leader of the Temple of the Blessed Lady. She's a lot nicer than Bishop Henred, but they're still on the same side. This is the place. Blood everywhere. Terrible. Ah, but maybe it can lead us to where there was took. Have a look around. Well, I'm certainly going to do that. Ah, another puzzle. Oh, you can actually move that one as well? Oh, my bad. My bad. Okay, we'll do this the other other way now then. There we go. That was very easy. I made it much more complicated than it had to be, as always. Ooh, what do we have here? Ah, apprentice's robe. Ah, well, we might, uh, we might actually have an apprentice now. Who is this? I actually have no idea what he's like. What does he have? He's a rogue. He's a rogue by the looks of things. We are a bard and he is a rogue. Oh, well, okay. Well, I don't have any items for him, but that's okay, because I'm pretty sure he ha already has decent stuff. Stop a minute. There's an old trout cash found here somewhere. Before we face these kidnappers, we might want to stock up on a few necessaries. Look for a chalk mark. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we can now use an additional ability to reveal a stash. There it is. And what are we going to get from it? We get thistle seed and a grappling hook. Oh, okay. We might need that. We also have some caltrops as well. And there you go. Oh, that, that was that was pretty good, actually. I, I like all these little hidden items and stashes. You'll need this to hook that bit that sticks out up there. And that's exactly why we needed the grappling hook. They've gone into Scarabri above. Dangerous ground for a troll these days. We best be careful. We have another stash here. Let's see what it's all about. Let's see if we can get something nice from it. Oh wow, huge amounts of loot. Ah, uh, I'm not entirely sure if we wanted to go in here, but we are. Let's do it. All right, let's have a look. They have 6 HP, 5 HP, and 6 HP. All right, okay, so I should be able to deal with these guys. I, I would like to kill the archer, but I don't think I'm able to at the moment. So this is kind of bad. Oh, well, never mind. That's lovely. Ready. Okay, let's see what he can do. Loose arrow. Oh, very nice. Okay, so we can actually kill this. 
That's great. And he can also hide in the shadows, become invisible for up to two turns or until you attack, gain plus 20% strength when attacking from stealth. So this is actually a really nice way for us to look at the other classes and what we may have gotten if we had chosen something else. All right, a seven physical to first enemy in the target column. Okay, that's actually really good. And he also has Caltrops as well. I'm perfectly happy just to use that. He is really powerful. That is crazy. Ah, there we go. We have another wave of enemies. All right. Taking orders from a human. Mm. Ooh, nice. That was a huge AoE. Yeah. Huge AoE right there. Okay, so I'm unable to basically do anything else, unfortunately. So I guess I'll just end my turn. Move! Yeah! <laughs> Brothers! Sisters! Why are you doing this? Turn the hatch! Drink up the meat bag! Ready when you are! It's eating my brain! Well, that was easy enough. I think it's mainly due to the fact that we have our rogue friend here helping us out. He's very, very powerful indeed. And we did actually level up again. Fantastic. Look at how much XP we got from that. Very nice. He almost leveled up. Ooh, what else do we have? Thank you. Thank you. I thought we were going to die. Oh. Yes, we have to partake in a conversation before we can take a look at our wonderful loot. Those cell sword tribes said they was going to leave our bodies here, so it seemed we'd killed those men. Hmm, what will you do now? Need to get back to Wellbottom and tell Cully. We better let Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Nice enough. Okay, so... Can I, uh, yes, now I can loot this. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have a wand, which is for a practitioner. We have a weathered leather tunic, which I think we are already wearing. But it might be something for our friend here. So let's just take a look. He's actually already wearing a weathered leather helm. And it has worse stats. And uh, what else is he wearing here? He's already wearing that as well. He's wearing this, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, doesn't seem to be anything for him, really. Okay, well, I guess it's about time I level up. And uh, I think it might make sense for us to actually spec into something else, another active ability, because you could see there that I was actually out of things to do on the second turn. Well, it seems like maybe I'm going to have to go for some kind of melee attack, and I think I'm probably going to go for Head Knocker. There we go. All right, what else do we have here? How you do it, I leave to you, but Scarabre must stop thinking of Trow as mischievous little good luck charms and start fearing them. They must hate them. And we gain some additional experience as well. And this guy has leveled up. So what are we going to spec him into? Well, I guess we could spec him into this. He's already spec into a whole bunch of attack skills. So it might make sense. Let's have a look. For three turns, each attack deals four bonus physical damage. That's pretty crazy. Let's do that. Oh, it seems like we're in a battle already against some guards. I didn't actually take a look and see how powerful these guys are, so it could be a mistake, which it might be. We'll see. All right, let's do... Uh, I think we're going to do Caltrops first, to be honest. Even though it's a very small amount of damage at the moment, I feel like it's kind of worth it. And uh, we're going to go chug chug. And we're going to use this. Music is a Ooh. 
And then we're just going to attack. I think that guy's going to die from our rogue friend. And I wonder, I can't attack the one behind, unfortunately. So I guess I'm just going to have to target this one down. There we go. Ready. You can't see me. Hmm, that's actually not even that bad, that damage. And we were able to deal significant damage to him thanks to the Caltrops and, of course, thanks to the fire shield that we have on us right now. All right, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go Shiv. Wow, this guy is really powerful. He, I think thanks to Trowel's advantage, he actually gains an action point from getting killing blows, I think. That's probably what is happening there. Seems very powerful indeed, at the very least. I'm actually going to move here. And he missed. Oh yeah, he certainly did. That's great. And now, he attacked and killed himself. That's great. Alright, so let's have a look at the loot. Uh, we gained some gold and some crafting materials. I need to get into the crafting system a little bit more. I obviously have not done anything with it just yet. Alright, with this first strike I am a bit worried because we have two of those guys at the back there that have a decent amount of HP. However, we should be able to eliminate these other ones okay, kind of? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go. We'll see. Stop. You can't see me. All right, so they're definitely going to attack and they're going to do a little bit of damage here, but thankfully our bard does have quite a lot of HP, so we don't need to worry too much about him. And we will be able to burst this guy down, I think, pretty fast. There we go. Easy enough. I'm not going to use any more Caltrops right now. We only have seven remaining. Do bear in mind that it is a limited use item. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move over here. So this guy might have to come over into the Caltrops. And he's only able to move once per turn. Bear that in mind as well. So it's actually kind of nice that we can do that. Hmm, okay, so it seems like we might have to move. I'm not going to be able to attack here with our Bard, which is okay because this guy de deals so much damage anyway. Look at that damage, crazy. He's dead, thanks to our fire shield once again. And we almost leveled up once more. Very nice. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the loot. What do we get? What's that? A weathered reinforced leather helm. Is that actually... Can I, can I wear that? I don't think I can wear that. No, I don't have that. I don't have that training. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, well, never mind. There's a couple of things over here that we might be able to open up and loot. There we go. It's Dalgleish! But who's that with him? Bremer, I promise you, it wasn't me. Who's this? Ah, Ringneck and a friend. There's hope yet. Thank you for coming, friends. Some monster pretending to be me has been going around demanding terrible forfeits from my clients for what they owe me. Do you know who's doing this? No idea. But the bastard forced poor Sir Gregory to sheath the sword I made for him in his hand, and he goaded old Mother Teasdale to dance around on the brass leg I fitted her with till she dropped. Any idea who he'll go after next? He seems to be bullying his way through my accounts ledger, and next on the list is Captain Tavish, a paladin of the Fatherites for whom I made some armor. We need to get to Tavish first. 
Well, let's go check on him. And he has now joined us. That is very nice. I like it. We have a party management screen now as well, because of course we have many more people to join us. So that is very nice. Welcome, Dalgleish! A tearing neck. This is all part of the recent troubles, I'm sure of it. Someone's trying to make Scarabray believe the worst of the dwarves. They're doing the same with the trow, too. It's awful. All right, well, hmm, I, I suppose we'll find out next time what happens. But uh, otherwise, if you'd like to pick up the Bard's Tale 4 and play for yourself, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.